The views and opinions expressed within the video content found on the Indie Comics Network are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of the Indie Comics Network or its sponsors. Have a question or comment for us to address on the show? Have a topic you want us to talk about? Email us at IndieComicsNetwork at gmail.com. Want your comics to arrive in pristine condition? Head over to GeminiComicsSupply.com and save 10% on your next Gemini mailer order or anything in the Gemini Comics Supply store. Use coupon code RAGIN10. That's R-A-G-I-N-10. Hi, I am Joe D. McPhee. I am the host of From the Desk of the Small Press Publisher. And I want to cordially invite you to watch our show Saturdays at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. On our show, we will have different guests as well as talk about the comic book industry and pop culture. And every so often, I might actually do a drawing session or a 3D rendering session every here and there. So once again, I want to invite you to watch From the Desk of a Small Press Publisher right here on the broadcast channel that you're looking at, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Hope to see you there and make certain that you catch from the desk of a small press publisher at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks. Attempt number two again. What up, lovelies? <sighs> Welcome to Hangan Animation. I'm your host, Mike Jimmy DeBran, um, CEO of Fairies and Ants, and a creator of Lava Cora and animator since like a year. Um, just a little less than a year actually since I started this. So, hey, we're still on the journey and it's still working out. So, last week we left off being done with scene 1 3. And here we go. So we were done with that. And so what we're going to do next is show you what everything done so far looks like. So here's the first 16 seconds of animation from the pilot completely done. Well, until I cut back to it because I got better at animation. But, you know, don't hold me to it. Here we go. Are you absolutely sure about this, Toyvan? Absolutely certain, Oxen. If there was any other way, I'd consider it. Um, let's do it then. The stones are stable. Follow my lead. There we go. So that's the work done so far. And we are now heading into the next one. And I'm sorry if you heard that bang. Um, there's someone lighting fireworks outside because it's nearly the end of the year. That's a tradition in the Netherlands, sadly. Okay. So we are inking this scene. Well, we're nearly done on that part. Hold on. There. I actually see the other character as well. So that is that, but we are here finishing Boxton. There we go. I'm really enjoying the inking part on this. Also, Quick hi to everyone around. Hello, Donna. Efrain, good to see you again. I hope you're enjoying the show. I mean, you're back, so I guess I'm doing something right. I hope you're doing good now. And more Donna. And evening, Carl. Hope you're doing good. Light another cigar for me, because I don't do it anymore. 
All right. Uh, in betweens are so weird sometimes. I mean, technically it's correct, but yeah. And it may look a little boring to see me inking. Um, some people hate it, but it's part of the process. And I personally very much enjoy it. It's one of my favorite activities when it comes to art, which to a lot of people is very weird as well, but hey. On the other hand, I absolutely detest coloring, so you know, to each their own. This is the face of come at me, bro. And he jump. And he said his fingers are like this. Yeah, because they don't then suddenly disappear. It's it's okay, Donna. It's okay. Most people do. Shelby is the star of the show. This is fact. I know it. Actually, if you want to see her, she is sleeping on the floor right there on a pile of uh, bubble wrap that she has owned. She, well, I don't want to feel like cleaning up, and she has owned on her own. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to see much of her because she's sleepy. She is a sleepy baby. Uh, turn the office mic, much easier. There we go.
the right restriction pool here. <laughs> well, we love you too, Donna. Don't worry. But I, I completely understand. Shelby is a very adorable baby. You need to. She needs her own show. I agree. We just haven't found, you know, the thing that she excels at, at yet. Besides smudging my work. And for those who don't know, I mean my literal work because I am mainly a traditional artist a traditional inker and she loves to point out little errors by putting a paw right on top of it but as big of a masochist i may be um i am not going to do traditional animation because i don't have to This is enough work as it is. So the program I'm working in is Clip Studio Paint. The drawing tablet that I'm using, the pen display actually, is a XP Pen Artist 15.6 second generation. It is but it's suited for the job I'm doing, essentially. It's fine. Um, and the voices you will hear um, of the voice actors are Ida Lanning, aka Big Boss Lady, CEO of the Indie Comics Network, which we're broadcasting to. Daphne Lage of Eagle Raven and Tall Tales. Check her out. She's awesome. I love her work. I'm actually publishing them, uh, publishing her. So, yeah. Um, and that lastly, which you're not going to hear for a while still, is Nick Tockert of the Historic Offensive Guild. Yeah, music, uh, the intro music is by Dan Hollifield, who has done a fantastical job composing something for the intro, and is probably, is, is very much looking forward to making the rest of the music uh, for the entire pilot. And, uh, yeah, we're, uh, We're just chugging along. So I'm doing all of this on my own, except for the voice acting, obviously. Um, and this is just my journey into animation. If you've got any questions about um, any of the functionalities of Clip Studio, my working methods, what this is based on, which is my series Live on Quora, which is already a comic series that I have finished five issues for so far and will be making a trade paperback for starting next year. 
Um, yeah, like um, the animation part is something new. The rest is actually a little bigger. But I'm happy to be doing it, and it's wonderful work. And I'm really enjoying myself, so we're going to keep doing it. Because that is the most important thing in art. Are you enjoying yourself? You're making a pretty buck out of it. Well, congratulations. You're even richer than most people. Because you're making something. And that, that on its own is gigantic. Now, of course, don't undersell yourself just because making something is awesome. But instead, appreciate the fact that you're creating. And if you appreciate what you do, then other people will appreciate it as well. You show it to the world. And, uh, yeah. So I've been a comic artist for five years now. And my first publishing. Sage Sunset in 2017. And while well, starting Sage Sunset in 2017, we published in 2018. Um, and I put that one on hiatus to work on Lava Cora, which became our flagship series. And now Fairies and Ants has a grand total of six series running, which is eight. We're just going to keep going. Yeah, I don't know with you, but I find this incredibly relaxing to watch and to do. But then again, if I watch this, I start doing because yeah, I'm enjoying mine. I, 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 my hands start itching if I see someone else draw, which is normal because it's something that I like to do personally. Uh, having someone working around and doing the same thing as you like to do, well, that, that's a pretty good feeling. And it makes it social and, you know, not so lonely. Because being an artist is pretty lonely sometimes. And live streams like these make it a little easier and a little more fun. And yeah, it feels good.
next week there will not be a Holland animation because I will be with my girlfriend in between New Year's, uh, between Christmas and New Year's. And I'm going to enjoy that. You know, Sketchy Saturday is off as well for two weekends. So we will all see you in the next, in the new year. Because, yeah, we don't want to infringe on Christmas. And, you know, uh, you know, we, we could do a Christmas stream and it might do some people a lot of good, but, yeah, we, we, we have places to be. And uh, so next week is my week up off for an animation as well. And I will be seeing you again in the new year. And I'm looking forward to 2023. Um, it's going to be much of the same for me. Well, yeah, because honestly, I'm in a pretty good space in my life. And I hope that stays. Uh, there's a lot of things going wrong in the world, and I hope they get better, um, obviously. But on a personal level, I'm doing pretty good. And I'm proud of, I'm, I'm proud of the place I am, so I'm going to keep working on it. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do more of the same. I got big plans and things to publish because there's a lot of things coming for 2023 and Ferries and Ants is growing rapidly. And, uh, 2023 is definitely going to be one of those years where we grow even more. There's going to be a lot of new books, tons of books. I love the big books. Glorious coffee event.
Well, Carl, I'm going to be honest, I kind of am. Um, like, okay, so you should be, okay, you're not actually, because there is, oh. Uh, whoop. It's not visible, no, it's not. I sadly can't make it work the way I, like i'd love to show off what my hand is doing because essentially i am sure of my lines 
Um, because no, come on. normally I do this. So you have to be sure of your lines because you're putting it down and it's there. And yeah, you just do it. And if it doesn't, if it's not perfect, it's fine. Um, well, mostly. Um, but for the most part, um, I just look where I'm going rather than where my pen needs to be at that moment. And with a little bit of hand-eye coordination, it's pretty doable. And from there, you just, yeah, make the line. Um, and the longer you do it, the better you get. It doesn't mean I'm always right, especially with these circles. Like, they're the worst. Well, you know that. But I also know that just because they're not right immediately, um, I can't fix them. Um, no, I don't want to cut this later. So. And a lot of this is just muscle memory. Like, if you want to build control for the pen that you're holding or lines you're making, a very big practice is going to be a new canvas. Just A4, that's fine. So, we grab a big pen. There we go. Um, is making all kinds of S's. And you make very like this. And they're very elaborate ones. They're almost a B. You know, or an E. Or an 8. And okay, this one isn't set to pen pressure that like me so just tons of S's and I'm able circles and it don't have to be perfect circles they don't have to be done circles this isn't the right pen for it actually but all of this is done with a steady wrist Literally everything that I'm doing here. And I keep saying this. So we go. my wrist is moving. It's only my elbow and my shoulder. And the only thing that changes is where I'm putting down pressure with my finger. And so let's write something. Yeah. All through the elbow and the shoulder because those can be stable. Your wrist 
Well, carpal tunnel is a vein. So don't do too much out of your wrist. Polyphon invisible again because I have to draw through him. Oh, yeah, no, um, if you, once you get used to having an actual pen display, um, it makes life so much easier. But even so, like, you can easily learn on uh, one of the old drawing pads, because, um, yeah, most of my early animation stuff, you know, storyboarding for this when I started Hangar Animation was done on this. So, yeah, this works. This works fine. Um, it's just not as stable. It's not as easy. It's, um, it's hard. Um, but that thing will do just the same as this thing that I'm working on right now. When it comes down to it, um, you know, expensive things don't make for a better artist. The better artist comes from knowing what their tools are and using them to the best of their abilities. And those tools can literally be a ballpoint pen and printing paper. One is using them and doing them a lot and understanding them and respecting them. And if you do that, any tool can be an amazing tool. Because 
in the end, they're just tools. And you got to learn to use tools. Tools don't, you know, you, you don't magically learn to use something. It takes time, and that's fine. Um, digital art has its pros. Um, it has its cons. And both of those are um, worth putting against one another. And artists have, um, yeah, there are their own uh, preferences and why they do things, why they like things. Um, I don't like coloring. I fully admit that I don't like coloring. I know that I suck at it. That is one of the reasons I don't like it. That being said, because um, digital allows me to correct myself a lot more, um, yeah, I don't mind digitally coloring. And it made me respect traditional coloring as well. Because suddenly, you know, I understood a little more and I was able to correct myself without having to spend a lot of money because traditional tools are expensive in the long run. That being said, neither is wrong. Neither is ever wrong. And as long as you keep that in mind, yeah, you're fine. That should be fun. And if you're having fun, then you're hitting it right. And if that means that you're only digital or if you're only traditional, that is up to you. But as long as you're having fun and you're not infringing on someone else's fun, saying one is better than the other, yeah, you're cool in my book. Also, to the six wonderful people watching, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, if you're not on the Any Comics Network or you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. We get a lot of cool shows all week long. So, uh, yeah, give us some love. It really means a lot. And we're getting up to those 1,000 subscribers, and uh, we could really use it. This is a fun network, and we're very proud of what we're building here. So... Yeah, be sure to subscribe.
I'm going to do some quick shameless promotion before we start closing off because only one month from now is the launch for Life on Korra Volume 1. Not only that, but if you want one of these limited hardcovers, there's only going to be 50 made. They will be numbered, they will be signed, and they will contain a complete original sketch by myself. Limited to 50 copies. They will contain over 150 comic pages, as well as about 30 extra pages worth of material from concepts to world building to writing, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm super proud of this book. We got so far over these past few years, and it is a privilege to be working with this team. Uh, we are proud to present it. So be sure to sign up. I'm going to drop the link in the chat. Let's see. Me. That is not the link I need. I need to be in there. So, I went over to Life on Cora over on Kickstarter and sign up. It really means a lot. Tickle the algorithm on that one. And you are going to get some awesome comics in one big book. So, be sure to check it out, guys. Right, that being said, I will talk to you all in the new year. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you're having a wonderful uh, New Year's Eve. And I will see you in the next year. Um, it's going to be awesome. I'm sure of it. So, stay awesome, lovelies. Catch you on the other side. In the middle of the night, or early Friday morning, depending upon where you are in the world, a group of experienced comics professionals get together to examine and instruct about the art form that they love. That's great comic artwork on Comics by Night, Fridays at 5 a.m. Eastern, here on the Indie Comics Network, IndieComicsNetwork.com. What was that? This is not a showway.